here with Dave Calderon, who uh, has experience using the uh, Echo Box or Ghost Box, Spirit Box, whatever you want to call it. He's here to show us some of the EVPs that he's caught through the box, and uh, we're going to hear him and just going to get our natural reaction to what we're hearing and how we're going to respond to it and tell him what we think it is and just give some feedback on it. So, yeah. You uh, must go back. Hold on. The buy comes through first, buy, then two seconds go by and you hear, asshole. Okay, so, and so the radio is already scanned, ten stations, you shouldn't be hearing the same voice. Back from radio came, you buy. cannot stay. There's the buy. Back from radio came, you cannot stay. Yes. Cannot stay. Yes. Okay, you hear that, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's... <laughs> now again... Whoever, when anybody tells me it's Radio Bleep, you can't say Radio can't you can't say, say, say asshole. asshole. Okay, so those were like, are literally our first like, bunch of sessions. Not unless you're scrolling through Sirius XM. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, you're right. It's just sure. like, <laughs> goodbye, and say asshole. Um, <laughs> you can't say asshole. <laughs> I'm going to play you a really creepy one. Is that alright? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. We live for creepy. <laughs> I, I don't have them in any, in any <laughs> real order. It's all good. Um, can we have a roll call? Can we have a roll call? We think it's like, can we have a roll call? Can you? That was kind of creepy. And then, a couple of years ago, you might even have heard about it. Some girl was at SUNY Farmingdale. Her first day, first day of class, and she got backed over by a garbage truck. Shit. That was that was his daughter. It was a couple of years ago, four years ago. And so now, it's a very wealthy family. They have a, a foundation set up in the daughter's name, and they rescue racehorses. And if you go out to the Exit 71, the Long Island Ecological Center, there's a whole wing in Kaylee's name. So anyway, I told Peter that, hey, Peter, I finally got Kaylee's name came through on my ghost box and the, on the hat. So he's like, oh, my God, can you please tell Kaylee to go visit her mom at the farm? That the horses aren't doing well and blah, blah, blah. Okay? So I come back home, I turn the thing on, and I do this. Now, two things. I've done probably 300 sessions. Mm -hmm. Mom, mommy, mother, mama has never, ever come through before. Ever. I could play you hundreds of recordings. Mama has never come through in any way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. Until I say, hey, Kaylee, hey, you know, my God, in spirit, can you tell Kaylee to go visit her mom? Sure. So now let me play that for you, and then I'm going to go back. Um, and you'll, hear, you'll hear my whole thing. You can hear my cat meow because my cat came over again. She must be turned on by her. <laughs> Moment of the day. Okay, this is her and loves her. Hold on, I'll go back just a little bit. Also, please let Kaylee know her mom misses her and loves her very much and thinks of her every single moment of the day. Um, I think there's three words there. And there are three different voices, but I think it says, must find mama. Mama's clear. For every single moment of the day. You hear that? No, 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 no. Yeah, it's the way, right? Right? Exactly. Then, here comes another mama. Are you able to pass these messages on to Kaylee for me? When you're asking, there's another mama yeah, in there. Yeah, I wrote it there. Yeah, that's, yeah it's, it's behind the voice. You're right, you heard that. That's a 254. You hear another mama. Uh, for me. Going back, all the way back. Hold on. Are you able to pass these messages on to Kaylee for me? And then I think it says here, just take her, just take her to mama. Okay, you gotta, there's two voices, I know it's noisy, but I'm telling you it's there, you guys gotta hear it. again and uh, Heather asked if she could con if we can contact her dead cousin anyway so we did we you know we did it for a couple of minutes we did it for two minutes and we, we hear somebody you hear the word cousin and then a second later drew she said, my cousin's name is Drew she almost started crying we stopped the session and then we said then we spoke then the box was off 
and we spoke for like three minutes and we said, you know, let's do a session. We're going to turn the box on, ask if anybody needs any help. Maybe we could pass on a message for somebody. Um, let's just see what comes through. And we spoke about it for three minutes with the box off, okay? But we, we said, we're going to have to say help. So we know they need help and they have to tell us how to help them. How could we help them? We, you know, okay. The instant I turn the box on, the instant, I didn't even give the instructions yet, because usually we give instructions like, if you need help, you know, say help. Sure, sure. It's the instant I turn the box on, tell me if you hear this. And you're going to hear it. Ready? Help <laughs> <Down with> me. Right <laughs> away. <laughs> Julie and, and now I start giving the instructions. But you hear, help me, David. Right. The instant we turn the box on. Right. Now, that is not radio bleed through. No matter what, I, I, you know. Not and then help came through three more times in the next minute. Yeah. And then we got four minutes of dead silence until I said, does anybody want to say goodbye? And then somebody shouts out, bye. As I'm doing this, my cat decides to jump on the counter right next to me. So now I'm like, oh, I stop petting the cat. And then I ask, do you guys, can you guys see my cat? And also, let me just say, I I don't hear any of this. I only hear this on the recording afterwards. I, I usually don't hear a thing coming through the box. Really? Yeah, nothing. It's very rare. Like ten percent of the time, I catch something coming through. Today, I caught something coming through. But I didn't hear any of this. What you're about to hear, okay? <laughs> Does anyone see my cat? Did you hear that? Does anyone see my cat? What? Sure I do. See, that's what people keep telling me. But I don't hear that. I hear certainly kids. Certainly kids love it. Right? Because in that voice. In that voice. see my cat? I can hear that, yeah. The thing is, is that's yeah. two different voices. Yeah. I think the, I think it is Shirley, and I think whatever's coming in afterwards is you're picking up part of. Uh, well, let me tell you, I've gotten sure. many, I've gotten complete sentences in two different voices, and one of them is on here. Okay. When I, oh wait, no, maybe it's not this one. It's a, on a different one, but it's when I ask about my dad, and it's a complete sentence that it's in a guy voice and a woman voice, and it's put together perfectly. And wait till you hear it, and I'll explain to you when I play it for you why it makes sure. perfect sense. But I just got to make sure you hear. Certainly, kids love it. Or sure we do, whatever you guys do. <laughs> but I think it says certainly kids love it. Does anyone see my cat? Okay. Then the cat is still messing around with me. And you remember when you were a kid, how would you call a cat? Come here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Come here. Right? Right. Okay. <laughs> Like a kid saying, come here. Yeah, that's definitely and so I heard that. When I heard that on, after playing it back, I was like, well, I better get out of my head. You didn't, you, <laughs> didn't, you, didn't, you didn't hear that while... No, I did not. Wow. I, afterwards, and again, I, I'm i thinking that still talk, talk, you know, I, again, I, I now that I'm listening back to it, I, I'm i still messing around with the cat. Then I'm going to fast forward just a bit, and I, I think I have something about my father. My, da my dad died in 99. <laughs> and... Now, the important thing about this is how I phrase this question. I think I say, I forgot what I said, but all right, listen. Is my father there? Is my father there? I say my father, okay? The response in four seconds is no way this is a coincidence. There's no way it is radio bleed through. <laughs> Now that's really tough. Right? My, my son. son. Yeah. My son. I think it's a, no. I say is my father there? I hear my son. He listens. I heard okay. my son listen. I call it. So I think that was pretty cool. Hold on. Wait. Well, right here we're gonna try and set up a live spirit box session. So let's see how that goes. Usually like two feet. Yeah, see right next 
very low. I think this one is I hear chandelier playing. Yeah. <laughs> I, hear. I don't know if we're going to do a reception though. It's usually much more chatter. Can we try it? Yeah, we'll give it a shot. This, this is not how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be Right, right, right. You're not going to get anything. Well, let's go right by the door, lock the door, and stick the door. Unless it's, it's giving me a problem again. It just got it back to me again. Right, right. Stick it outside. Not miserable. We go around here. I put the box like right here. We only want to be surrounded by good and loving spirits that want to talk to us, that are surrounded in God's love and light. Uh, is anybody out there that would like to say hello? I heard hi. No, it's on FM. Again, we are uh, at a meeting right now, and we just want to know if anybody's out there would like to talk with us. You hear how it's repeating the same thing over again? Yeah. It's not, maybe my battery's not coming This is not how it's supposed to sound. Can you say any of our names? And unfortunately, our friend Dave Calderon could not get his spirit box to work at our HQ. But we had fun going over what he had to offer anyway. So if you guys liked what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe for some more paranormal infotainment.